okay so in the last video of the ascent we actually took down a big old mech with our beautiful uh pulse rifle here um and we also have the ability to summon a mech now with our tactical ability which is huge so i'm looking forward to using that in today's video guys welcome back to the channel for the next part of the ascent our playthrough has been going pretty well i think we're up to level like 18 now i think yeah, we just leveled up at the end of the last video. We have some points to spend here. I'm going to go ahead and put them... Uh... Well, let's put one into battery, one there, and then one into aiming. Sounds good to me. Anyways, guys, thank you for tuning in for more of The Ascent. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And of course, while you're here, leave a like and a comment on the video as well. That said, let's go ahead and get started and see what's up next. I'm not even sure what to expect after we took down that big mech. That was a, it wasn't like a crazy fight or anything, but it was something I wasn't expecting a mech specifically indoors. You mean access denied? What do you mean? Is this game straight up not letting me get out here? Yeah, this game is straight up not letting me get out here. Uh, well, that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? I think we can go around this way. I think that's what we did earlier in the game as well. Yeah, there's that door right there. So you had to go around the whole time. We figured it out. Okay. Okay. We have to reach, reach the pinnacle tier. So let's work on that. I love, dude, as soon as you go outside, it's just instant cyberpunk vibe. You have the neon lights. You have the, uh, the rain. It's just, I, I love that so much. This is, that's what keeps me coming back to this game. The gameplay isn't crazy good but it's not it's not bad either don't get me wrong like i am enjoying it overall but this is what keeps me coming back right here just being able to look at the everything this way is so good it's so nice i you know i say at the beginning of every video as well i you know i, I constantly talk about it i just really enjoy it Oh, whoops. Sorry, bud. Took some unwanted damage there. Oh, hey, there's uh, enemies right there, guys. Take some hard cover here. <laughs> you know, she keeps saying that every time I'm fighting enemies, and I don't know what they want me to do about it. Like, I feel bad, obviously, but what do they realistically want me to do about it when these guys are, like, using these civilians as shields? You know? It's weird. I wonder if it affects anything in the game. I've not noticed any repercussions of it at all. Hey, bud. Heard you're going upstairs. I gotta say, I'm fucking dying to know what happened to the board in the AGI. Like I told you before, AGI simply don't go silent like that. They're supposed to last through anything, maintain control, and all else. What's that? Free candy. Get the goods by hacking and destroying vending machines. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. There's a bounty over here. Easy. I can't see anything. Radical bang.
Nope, that guy's got a giant minigun, but he's so slow, he'll never make it over here. This pulse rifle still does work after all this time, guys. It still does work after all this time. I really enjoy that. That's really great. Oh, what the? Wasn't expecting the attack there. Just trying to hack that vending machine, dude. Okay. I gotta go down the stairs. Let's not do that. It's spider time. All right, next fight we get into, we're dropping the mech. We're dropping the mech right here on these guys. You ready? <laughs> Let's go. Get him. Oh, wait. I, do I get in it myself? I do. Oh, my God. I thought it was automatic. It's manual. <laughs> okay. I'm not mad about this. All right. It doesn't last the longest, but that's still pretty cool. So I thought it was going to be like an automatic thing. It would just like pilot itself essentially but it turns out it's a thing that i use myself that's really cool that's really really great i like that ability <laughs> that made me really happy that was cool not sure if it's practical uh use overall it really depends on if i can actually like, lose health while i'm using it or something That'll be the real teller. All right, let's look at this. Gunsmith. Can I level up the enforcer at all? I don't have the, uh, I don't have that type of weapon yet. Unfortunate. We can level up the heat, though its damage doesn't really go up that much anymore. Oh, well, let's do it. Mark seven hand cannon. Okay. Okay, then. Suppose I could sell some stuff real quick as well. Any duplicates? Nope, there's that audio bug again. Just a non-stop whooshing. We just made a lot of money right there. Do you have any new weapons, man? Besieger. Strobos as well. Uh, energy minigun. Interesting. Uh, nothing new there. Nothing new there. ABR Commander. He has a ballistic burst rifle. I still haven't seen any of these weapons do actual digital damage. I really do think that's strictly abilities at this point. All right, that audio is terrible. I can't believe that audio bug is still a thing. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's that's really really bad. I'm I'm much more patient. I, I I consider myself a very patient player, but if I'm annoyed by it, then I know people that are less patient in general would probably just turn off the game because of that. Especially if it's someone that's 
you know, on the more sensitive side to audio stuff in general. It's kind of a shame to see that. Uh, hope I, I really do hope that there's a fix for that soon. I really do. All right, can we maybe buy some modules here? That audio, oh my god. Six percentage of melee damage gets thrown back to your attacker in digital form. Okay, so there's digital damage right there. Javelin dash, execute extreme evasive maneuvers instead of a regular roll. I kind of like the idea of that. Speed heal mod, get extra health for all healing pickups and abilities. Heal faster, heal better, stay alive. And then tactical charge, recharge the tactical equipment faster. Let's get this and this. That bug, dude. And then, boom. Modules are internal boosters installed in your body. Achievement unlocked. Nice. They're passive boosts and your body can have two modules active at any, at any point. You can find new modules in the world from enemies or buy them from the grafter. Install modules via the journal or at the grafter. Here we are now at the grafter. All right, we got the javelin dash. Let's go ahead and put the speed heal on too. What does life transfer do? Oh, that marks the enemies and makes them heal us if we do damage to them. Cool. I would use propulsion leap if there was melee in the game. I see no real, like, no real use for that outside of melee or, or if maybe I was going for like a a shotgun maybe it could be useful there but yeah all right that's kind of cool access denied emergency shutdown in effect override magenta clearance needed for override Yes, yes, I'm cleared magenta and orange and teal and all the pretty colors. Now, please, let me out. Biometrics confirmed as critical habit. Two-step authentication required. Please get an access form. That's what I've been trying to tell you. I lost my phone. Override, override, damn it. Access denied. Emergency shutdown in effect. I appreciate that you're only following your program. I do, but I'm really not the enemy here. Can't you just make an exception? Uh, this one. Were you hoping to go up? This friendly mech just kindly informed me that access to the top floor is restricted. It's doing an excellent job, isn't it? If I had lost my fob, I'd be relaxing in my rinser already. It's disgrace. Don't face lethal repercussions. Uh, the last time I know I had it was back in the corp zone. Could be that those friendly Rojan found it. Maybe I can burden you with asking them. They were very uh, communicative when I was there. If you can get my fob back, I'll let you ascend with me. And that's a promise you can trust. The more I think about it, the more you feel like the potential silver lining here. How about it? All right, I guess that's what our task is here. Retrieve Grateful Abbot's fob. We actually tear up the ground when we do that. It's kind of interesting. Um, Let's just fast travel to the corp zone here. We don't have to walk the whole way this time. I wonder if this javelin dash thing makes it so it'll do damage based on how it tears up the ground. I doubt it. I think it would have said something if it would, but it just looks like it would based on that, you know? All right, here we are. Enemies everywhere here, too. All right, wants me to find it. Oh, hey, what's up? I love when the enemies are robots because they just go down so quick to the, uh, the energy damage.
All right, looks like no damage on that. All right. We can't use weapons in here, but okay, the, the icon is going back out here. Can't go that way. He's leading me right there, though, on the left side of the screen. You can see it. Why is it doing that? Hmm. When I press up on the D-pad, it just kind of pops like that. So I wonder if it's just somewhere in this area in general and that, like, symbol doesn't matter over there. Saw some more enemies down this way, so maybe, maybe they have it. Just kind of healing. What is this thing on me? Maybe it doesn't actually heal me. It just puts the shield on me. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Looked like all the other ones that healed me earlier on in the game. So that's what I thought it would do. RPG 23 launcher picked up. Okay, there it is. I agree. After we slay the enemies. I had a feeling we were close to a level up. Right on. The Dominator. Oh, those are not healing. All right, uh, let's see. Back to High Street. Just wanted to finish off that level up right there. I wonder what the max level is. I've never actually looked into that. I guess I should have because, you know, that kind of affects how a build would play out. But I mean, realistically, I think we're okay. We have some skill points to spend. I want to cap out aiming just in case we do end up changing weapons. Uh, let's see. Critical hit rate's already tacked, uh, maxed out. And then body battery. Yeah. Looking good, feeling good. getting at a point where the pulse rifle I'm using is still really effective in a lot of ways, but I feel like it will get to a point where it'll fall off. And considering we haven't found any uh, upgrade material to make it go beyond, what is it, like Mark 8 or 9 right now, I don't know if it'll be something viable for the foreseeable future. Such are my magenta powers, you see. When I have my stupid fog. Fog recognized. <laughs> for access. 
How kind of you. My profound thanks. And I also wish to grant pinnacle access to this helpful being standing next to me. Access granted. And now I must bid thee adieu. Don't be a stranger. Great! Oh my god. Do come visit. We'll share a bottle of Zumzek and reminisce about this terrible ordeal. Why do I feel like this guy is super suspicious? Something about that guy just doesn't seem safe. But oh well, we got in here now. This is Kira. We see you've reached the pinnacle. The AGHQ entrance is across the Grand Alley. Tread carefully, operative. Wow, look at this place. Look at this. This is nice. Nice and cozy. Everyone's wearing red and black. Hey, so are you up at the pinnacle now? Is it as fancy as they say? Bring me back something shiny, will you? I mean, the whole place is shiny, man. The cameras are watching me. No, there's still gunshots in here, though, so it's just like the rest of the city. What do we got? What's going on here? Am I joining the battle? Oh, that guy just got. Oh my god. Well, they all just got wiped out. That's cool. See what I mean by this pulse rifle? Like these guys, some of these guys will have a 21 and they're instantly, or 22 even, and they're instantly a little bit more uh, ridiculous. Also, I'm very close to dying. Holy. Mono Ranger picked up. What's that? Why does it sound familiar? Deploys a monobot armed with a rifle. Yeah, okay. So I already knew what that was. I remember we... I think we could have bought it from a store earlier. All right. That was a... That was a lot right there. I need to heal. Oh, okay. There's still more. Luckily, those are very weak. So much health. See, I do have this healing ability as well, but I'm afraid to get too close because then they'll start opening fire with mini guns and whatnot. Can I hack you? No. Unfortunate. This is quite the place, huh? Where literally everything is trying to kill you? Ah, reception, nice. You're right. When you're right, you're right. Noticing no vending machines to heal at in here too.
Wait. That looks familiar, doesn't it? Hmm. The boardroom is in lockdown. It can only be opened by the Ascent Group AGI. There is an interface terminal in the secure chamber nearby. There's a chest in that room of some kind. We got an interface with an AGI somewhere. Is it you? Locked. Still locked. That door doesn't open, so maybe it's this one. Andras. Okay. It's the same, uh, same species as the person that's been giving us orders that I'm noticing on the walls here. Gone, Bavand. Parn. Maybe these are their names? Another advanced component. What's this? Curious consumer. Read data pads. Got it. Still nothing. So maybe this room down here. Ah, AGI. This is the one. Superior component. Nice. So we can level up our pulse rifle now. We found one. is not just hibernating it has been shut down it's a wonder this arcology is still standing stay in place we're coming to you i mean wow level 20 completed syntax error well this certainly is an epic clusterfuck the boardroom has been locked down with the safe room protocol. Only the AGI can override that, and it's offline. To get into that room, you must reboot the AGI manually. It can only be done at the cognitive core in the D-Nexus. So that's where you're headed next. Our other assets are locked down, defending our recently acquired property. The Ascenders are throwing everything they have at us, trying to take it back. So this is on you alone. We realize you get to run around a lot, Operative. But we also know that all sapiens need plenty of cardiovascular exercise to stay functional. Consider it another perk. All clear. <laughs> You've been running around nonstop. Consider it a perk. Gee, thanks. Mission brief over. Do you require clarification? All clear. Good. The Y Corp AGI has cracked the cognitive core access code and it's been uploaded to your imp. But that's all the aid it can provide here. You might want to utilize that unsavory acquaintance of yours. Noghead, was it? His assistance could be useful. Now get going. Okay. Recompile. Let's go ahead and uh, use our skill points here. Let's go with that. I should put some more points into evasion as well. There's an item in there and I want it, but we'll have to come back for it later, I guess. That is the door we're trying to open up after all for the boardroom. So something good's got to be in there, you know? Something good. Got your ping, friend. So you're going to reboot the Ascent Group AGI. I don't think you understand what you're getting yourself into. That's a foreign technology. Parsecs above anyone's pay grade. It's also protected by a quantum solidification field. You're going to need a tuning fork to implode it, and you're in luck, because I happen to have just the type you need. 
Come pick it up over at Black Lake. I'll be waiting. Oh, sounds good, bud. I'll be right there. I can't like fast travel at all. It's making me walk out on foot. The taxi is unavailable. I have been denied by the taxi. Is there any stores here of any kind? Oops. No, but there's a chest over to my right. I'm not too worried about it right now. There's no no shops here at all. I want to hit an upgrade shop for my pulse rifle. Keep the damage going up, you know? Many ascenders have fallen defending our corporate values. Honor them. Remember them. <laughs> Bow down to the corporate overlords, I guess, is what it's saying. Okay. 212. We're not really far off, so we can just kind of go this way. Just got to go to the Coder's Cove. And we can hit some shops along the way and uh, upgrade our weapon. going right by it. That's perfect. We have this superior thing we can use. So let's do that. Right here. Okay. Look at that. It's now doing over a thousand DPS. Very nice. Hopefully it'll make a difference against some of those uh, 22 plus enemies. I noticed some of those robots, even though they're weak to electrical, were very, very tanky. Which concerns me. We still took them out and we didn't die though, so that, that's, that's a big plus, you know? We didn't lose out there. Level 10s. You know, they keep saying stuff like that, but I have no way to really stop where these, what these pulse rifles uh, target, you know? All right. This area is still one of the coolest in the game, just because of the background back there. Okay, uh, 957, let's... Fast travel. Didn't realize it was so far away. So these noises that we're hearing right here are the same noises of the audio bug that we get with all the whooshing. It's just much faster. It's the same noises, just a constant. I'm not sure what causes it. I'm not sure how to replicate it. All right, how far? 200 meters. things everywhere again. And we 
are here. Hey. A mech with a riot shield? Oh no, it's not a mech. Power armor. All right, big fight on our hands. Let's go. Sorry, buddy. OV found our location and they're twisting my arm hard. Had to do this. It's fine. We can handle it. Get rid of that thing. All right, not bad. Oh, there's a bounty here now. There you go. Oh, I didn't realize I was so low health. I thought I had a lot more health than that. Something just hit me really hard. I'm not sure what it was, but something just hit me really hard there. Was it those machine guns? Notice some, uh, in place machine guns down here, but they're not there now. I'm not sure what happened. Well, that sucks. Oh, well. Let's skip this. We got to do this again. Sorry, buddy. OV found our location and they're twisting my arm hard. Had to do this. Let's see if those machine guns are there again. No? Maybe they were part of that uh, bounty, their group of people or something. Yep, there they are. Um. Oh, they're friendly. Hey, sorry about that, but you owe me one. Remember? No worry. Sorry it took so long for the backup to come online. The plan was never for you to face those assholes alone, but you know, plans. Come on over, we'll get this sorted. So whatever it was, it was just, I think it was like one of the last guys left. And uh, they just did a ton of damage to me with whatever they had. Unfortunate, but that's the way she goes. Yes, yes, hello. threw at you but never a bad thing to even out the odds a bit right look that spiel about the tuning fork was bullshit i had to lure you over here no kid we are fully aware you did not uphold your end of the bargain ah my man what the fuck are you talking about you got your little ambush not my fault your people got wasted because they sucked your handiwork on those towers was visible to an infantile child no kid you have now been blacklisted. My people will flatline you on sight. Have a good day. Oh. I've never seen Hung angry before. Definitely made this whole gig worth it. 
probably should beef up security around here somewhere. Anyway, I can hack the quantum field from here. In fact, it's already done. Another favor you owe me. By the way, what the informant told you about the y Corp AGI cracking the access codes to the cognitive core is refined hogwash. Those codes are absolutely uncrackable. Quantum encryption. y Corp must have acquired them somehow, though I can't for the life of me figure out how. Yes, I was listening in. Sorry. I'm not sorry. Okay. So Naghead is someone that looks out for us in a pretty cool way, but he also just constantly says that we owe him a lot. We owe him for this. We owe him for that. But he looks out for us. All right, we got to reach the AGI cognitive core. Where is this? Oops. All the way over there, Arcology Warrens. So let's go ahead and travel to that. You would think that it would highlight the Arcology Warrens thing green because that's where it is, where we got to go. The closest spot to it. But it doesn't. Whatever. Not that big of a deal now that we figured out, you know, what the world is shaped like and everything. All right, here we go. Many ascenders have fallen defending our corporate values. Hey. Honor them. Oh. Remember them. <laughs> it's like they kind of got him annoyed there. All right. 967 meters we have to travel. And nothing else in here is something we'd fast travel to. So I guess we just kind of make it happen on foot. D Nexus is over there. Let's get started. Okay, we're back, baby. Last time we, we were here, we died a whole bunch. Hopefully we can make it not happen this time. We're almost there already. You know, I was about to say that I have not seen enemies yet. Here they are. It was those machine guns specifically that were a pain. We kill them really fast now, though. No? There we go. Level 24 mech with a hammer. We handled it. Took a little bit of damage, but nothing serious. Oh, there's more. The spiders tied him up. Wouldn't let him by. Oh, 
Oh, that's a another spider. Level 25 and he has so much health. Jeez. All right, you know what? It's time for my own mech. All right, you know what else? This thing does very bad damage. I'm so sad. This mech should be a thousand times better. I actually take damage while I'm in the mech too. Really unfortunate. My own spiders. Spider on spider warfare. I am actually going to die here. Oh, because there's enemies down there shooting me the whole time. Oh, I just tried to heal. I was getting shot in the back that whole time. I didn't even realize. My bad. Okay, so uh, first things first, we're changing this mech away. That's really unfortunate that it's so bad. It really sucks. Um, let's go with the fragmost grenade. I'm kind of depressed that the mech is so bad. It just doesn't do damage. I wonder if it would be different if we were to level up that specific weapon, if that would help. Where's the spider? Did the spider not spawn this time for some reason? Weird. Okay. I mean, that grenade doesn't do much damage either. I think I'm just heavily disappointed because the amount of damage that things do is very low compared to this pulse rifle. I think that's what it comes down to. The mech still sucks though. <laughs> Hello? Why are my, my rounds are going right through that guy? Uh, did I find a new weapon a moment ago as well? Or... No? For some reason I thought I found a new weapon. Maybe it was armor. Oh, there's the spider. My God, it is tanky. Oh, there's two of them. <laughs> Ow. Spider time. Spider on spider violence again.
<laughs> There's, they have so much health. Here, have this. There you go. All right, one's down. Trigger finger got real tired there, but we did it. My God. Overall worth it. We got two basic components and two advanced components out of that deal. Also a level up. We should probably do that. Yeah, we're going all evasion. Let's max out evasion. Get that cooldown down to nothing. So we just got to level 10, so we're halfway to capping that out now. Kind of wish we could just hold the trigger down. It would still fire in a pulse fashion. I have to pull the trigger every time I do this. I'm not used to playing on controller or at least pushing like uh, buttons in that way. Look, it's kind of tiring. Uh oh. Do you feel awe? I'll get back to you on that one. Spider. Oh, it's only level 11, though. Much easier. Much easier and drops the same loot anyway. That's weird. Was not expecting that idea. All right, we've made it. Also, I'm expecting a big fight in this room. Yep. Here we go. Stand up, dude. Oh, that had great damage against these guys. Heck yeah. They just want to hit me with glowing sticks. These tunes are great too. No, nope, wrong way. Stop hitting me, man. Oh, that guy's immune. Oh, I tried to heal. I tried so hard. I just got overwhelmed.
All right, we go again. We got so close. First try, too. I should have dropped some spiders throughout all of that. I wonder if that spider respawned up here it did not we're already past it just imagine if you could like farm those materials infinitely based on that one enemy like you go in there kill it you run in here purposely lose purposely die and then just repeat that landlessly Oh, thanks. A bounty in here? All right, I wasn't really expecting a bounty to happen in here, guys. Okay. Not me to throw that that way, but that's what we got. Ah, how the turns tabled. One minute left. Stop hitting me. There we go. Some big boy heals right there. Honestly, these spiders are lifesavers. It distracts these guys so much. I can't even see this guy. Just know he's down there somewhere. There you go. Huh. Oh, great. Yeah, don't mind me. Just out here killing literally 100 enemies while you do nothing. It's fine. Everything's fine. I won't take it personally. All 
I think that was the, uh, I would say that was probably the hardest fight in the game for me so far. Just based on how many enemies there were and how you had to play basically every ability and every little bit of knowledge I've had. I had to hack the hackers to make them vulnerable. Basically, you hack to take down their drone for a moment so you could damage them. You have the mix of melee and uh, gun enemies. So you have to like stay on the move, but also use cover appropriately to actually not die. I think the only thing that would have made that worse is like a legitimate boss. But we did have that bounty guy in there in the mix as well. So that was it's kind of crazy. It's all right because the music and the graphics made it all good. I just really enjoy looking at this game. All right, good, because I won't. I should probably see if I have any better armor at this point. I don't think I've actually upgraded my armor in a minute. Let me take a peek. The biggest issue that I have is straight up physical damage. leave that on well, was an upgrade all around right there heck yeah all right that's pretty good okay so we just got some upgrades on our armor i think that'll help us take less damage overall i just don't think to keep up with that very often Now we can just go interface with the AGI. Hello there. Good. Let's begin. Requesting AGI access. Identify Akira. Are you now operating at full capacity? Negative. Fraction cognitive. Erroneous syntax. Poor system contaminated. Section quarantine. Why was it put under quarantine? Critical compiler. What was the root cause of the error? External paradox. Logic structure threatened. Simplify. Fulgrim lockdown. Lift security protocol. Protect. Neural integrity. Initiated shutdown procedures. Enacted emergency. Call 61A. You aware? Somebody tried to appropriate you. Astonishing. Who inserted the deviant code? Lost access registry. Chief technical officer Duquesne. CTO Duquesne. Noted. What is Project Menchen? Cannot request. What is the status of the Ascent Group board? Ordering telemetry curtailed. Ordering lockdown. Lift security protocol. Do it. Complete. Well, operative, we still don't quite know what awaits us in there, so I'm sending you in first. Oh, thanks. You'll be our canary in the coal mine. Find out what happened, and do try to stay alive. I love the canary in the coal mine idea in the future. All the way in the future here. All right, we got another level up. We go ahead and uh, spend these on evasion. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. 
but all right. Hey, bud, as usual, I was listening into your little exchange back there, and wow, that was one messed up AGI. Someone tried to imprint it? That's fucked up, man. No wonder it shut itself down. Yeah. All right, guys, I feel like this is a great spot to leave off. So we're going to go ahead and end this video here. Don't want to keep you guys too much longer. It's already been over an hour. That said, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment on the video as well for me. It helps me grow. And of course, I want you guys to subscribe so that way you guys don't miss any of the future uploads. You can turn on notifications so that way you don't miss any of our gameplay walkthroughs of any game that I play. Uh, right now, we're actively playing The Ascent as well as a game called Grime, which has been a really good time as well. And there's more games coming out this month, and we're heading into the fall season, which is always big for a lot of huge video games every single year. So I'm looking forward to that. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing, and of course, watching the video. And I'll see you on the next one.